Hey everybody, I'm going to give a lesson on the Dynamesh subtraction with inside ZBrush for R5, which is really cool. I made one for ZBrush 4, Release 4, and this is the latest and greatest application. So let's get to it. Okay, basic material, and actually, let's just start off with the simple Dynamesh sphere, just so everybody's on the same page. Now, to start things off, press BI, and you can use any one of these insert, um, like sphere, cube, whatever you want to. Right now, I've got the insert cylinder selected. Okay, so now, with my X symmetry on, let's create some ears. So click and drag. Okay, then release, which masks off it. Max masks off everything but the ears and we can move this around if we don't like the placement of it to wherever wherever we want control Z we can resize it bring it into the model a little bit more less whatever you want okay I like that okay I think that looks nice and then hold down control, click, control click again to uh, remesh everything so it's one big object. And then alt, click again. Wait, oh, sorry, draw wasn't selected. Okay, click and draw. Now this will cut into the object. As you can see, the cylinder that we've just created is inverted which is uh, a helpful reminder that it is, it is cutting into your object. So let's move it around. See what is being cut away. Okay, so that much will be cut away from this sphere that we have so far. So click and drag, click and drag to cut into the object just like we wanted. Now we've got ears, so click on draw, hold down shift, and yeah. This character, he's called No Face because we just illustrated Dynamesh subtraction feature, which is really handy. And now let's give him some teeth. Okay, you can see that we still have X symmetry on, so hold, let's click and drag to create teeth. Okay, like that. Click and drag, click and drag. Teeth. Click and drag, click and drag. Teeth. Now this is a monster, so he's got teeth all over the place. Click and drag, click and drag. Nice. Click and drag. Click, click. Okay. Um. Wait. Undo. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Let's zoom in. Let's make sure that's not touching anything else. Okay. There's his teeth. Now let's give him some eyes. So hold down Alt and click and drag to cut into the object. You can see that half of the object is on top and half of it is inside. So if we let go and then control, click and drag, click and drag, that much of the object has been removed and it's too sharp so let's reduce the draw size and hold down shift to smooth that out just a little bit. Now he's got eyes and we have just learned how to use the Dynamesh subtraction feature with inside ZBrush 4 release 5 and I hope everybody has a great day if you like this video please subscribe and like me uh, let's give him some spiky hair okay like that click on move move it around increase the size of it dramatically okay fancy I love the way that looks so click control left click and drag Control left click and drag to make remesh that and make it one. Fancy, now he's got hair. Now let's give him, I don't know, his hands look like they need to be. Um, yeah. Fancy, okay, I like that. That's nice. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, everybody.